students for Los Angeles. I marvel at the tremendous seaside destination and visitors and convention town that Long Beach has become. And tragically, I cannot believe the poor and dangerous dead end that our beloved harbor area has degenerated into. I've never seen such desperate characters walking around as I have on the streets of San Pedro, especially in the last few years. Keep in mind that Long Beach currently competes with the Port of Los Angeles as the number one mover of cargo in the Western Hemisphere. They've made no industrial sacrifices to becoming a complete port. There is a such thing as a complete port. Let's take a look back. 50 years ago, you could have gotten your throat slit for the price of an angry fix on Pine Avenue. The centerpiece of Ocean Boulevard was the Pussycat Theater. Long Beach was a dirty and dangerous, old, decayed, rotting remnants of the old pipe still held the waterline. For sure, they had a quality of life seaside nightmare. Does this sound familiar? Yes. Who has that nightmare now? <laughs> Long Beach transformed itself by properly cleaning out the old rot, recapturing and reclaiming its waterline for the true owners for public access with promenades and bike paths. Everywhere the water touched the land, there was public access to it, even all the way up and down the mouth of the LA River. Primary public access promenades are the foundational basis for worldwide waterfront commercial development. In Long Beach, hotels started popping up. They got a skyline to go with their crane line. Most importantly, thousands of new jobs. Long Beach is 10 minutes away by car, and 50 years ahead is, is waterfront living <laughs> and quality of life. <laughs> Doug Drummond, he's an author, he's a, he was a policeman, former Long Beach City Councilman and currently the President of the Long Beach Harbor Commission is here tonight in full support of our cause to create public access from the bridge to the breakwater. Doug, would you please stand up, please. Mm -hmm. Doug Drummond. There's a great leader. When I first introduced the Bridge to the Breakwater Grand Promenade plan, it completely united the harbor area. The plan's virtues perfectly express our right to the economic opportunity and prosperity that all California seasides represent. Yet this panacea of a plan is still not a priority of the port. They claim they practice balance. One look at our waterline unveils that lie. They claim they lack the funds. Pola spent $550 million last year for the building of one container terminal. Yet, they make us stand here tonight in public as beggars. You make us plead for our rights to transform our own waterfront, to save and serve the needs of our children, the futures of our children and their children. You did this through financial strangulation. It's shameful. You will not get away with it any longer. I've got news for all the port authorities and for the double-talking Eric Garcetti. This, this is our body that the port inhabits. These are our shores that you use. That is our money in your pocket. You will no longer abuse us. And you will no longer devalue our property and our livelihoods, which is exactly what's happened to this community. You will no longer trample on our waterfront rights. Hear us loud and clear. The time for change is now, and we must demand it as people. Thank you. <laughs>